Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing another strength workout that focuses mainly on the abdominal strength and endurance. We're going to work on the rectus abdominis and even your obliques as well. So we're going to start with our normal dynamic warm-up and then I'll go through the two ab circuits we're going to do. Okay, so for our dynamic warm-up, we're going to do each exercise for about 30 seconds, starting with some quad pulls. So you want to pull up and hold each one for a couple seconds before switching to the other side. Okay, next we're gonna do the same thing but hamstring pulls. Again, hold each one for a couple of seconds before switching sides. Okay. Next, we're going to do Frankenstein. So you're going to kick up and reach your opposite hand to your opposite foot. Okay, next we're going to do toe touches. So you're going to bend down and reach your opposite hand to your opposite foot and kick your leg up. Okay, after that, we're going to do scoops. So you're going to go down. And scoop the ground. And then last, we're going to end with some side lunges. Okay, so for the first circuit, we're going to be doing four exercises, each for 30 seconds, and then we're going to take a minute break in between each exercise and two minutes in between each circuit. So the first exercise we're going to be doing is single leg crunches. So we're going to do 15 seconds each leg, and then I'll switch for a total of 30 seconds. So you're going to lie flat on your back. You're going to have one knee back and one knee straight. The one that's straight is the leg we're going to be starting with. So you're gonna come up, crunch for 15 seconds and then we'll switch legs. And then switch.
Okay, that was the first one. We'll take a minute break and then do the next exercise, which is going to be scissor kicks. So again, you're going to be lying flat on your back with your arms at your side. You're going to elevate your legs and alternate with yours. Okay, so do that for 30 seconds. Again, we'll take a minute break in between and then move on to the next one, which is going to be a high plank with a shoulder tap and you're going to tap your opposite shoulder and your opposite foot. So, you're going to high plank, you reach, tap your opposite shoulder and bring your opposite foot. We'll do that for 30 seconds. Okay, then we take another minute break. And the last one we're gonna do is a plank with hip dips. So here's a plank position. And you'll dip to either side. Okay, we'll do that for 30 seconds. And that's the last exercise in the first circuit. Once you finish the circuit, you're going to go through it, take a two minute break, and then go through it three times total. Okay, so now we're ready for the second circuit. We're going to do the same thing. Each exercise will be for 30 seconds with one minute in between, and then two minutes at the end. Then you're going to do it two more times, so a total of three times through again. So for this circuit, we're going to start with boat holds with alternating extensions. So you're going to start like this, your hands straight out. And you're going to alternate tapping your foot to the ground. You want to make sure you're activating your abs in this by squeezing them. Okay. So after that, we're going to take a minute break and then we'll do, we're going to do a side plank. And with the side plank, we'll do 15 seconds each side, but you can also include crunch to make it a little bit harder. Okay? So do each side for 15 seconds. Okay, let me switch. Okay. That'll work more on your obliques on your sides instead of in the middle of your abs. So do that for 30 seconds total. Take a minute break. And then the next one is reverse crunches. 
So for reverse crunches, you're gonna lay on your back, put your hands under your butt. Then you're gonna elevate your arm off the ground, you wanna extend your feet. So then, after that one, we have one more exercise. We're gonna do bicycles. So you're gonna lay on your back again and reach your opposite elbow to your opposite knee when you do the crunch. And with that one, you want to make sure your shoulder blades stay off the ground the entire time. So those are your four exercises of the second ab circuit. Once you go through all four, take a two-minute break and then do it two more times. Okay, last thing we're going to do is some static stretching to end the workout. So we'll start with the butterfly. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Okay, once you hold that for 30 seconds, you know, put one leg out and just stretch your back and those obliques, you can reach over with your opposite hand as well. We're gonna hold each side for 20 seconds. So once you're done with that side, you can stretch it out. The next thing you do, bring your leg over the other one to stretch your back out. This will also help with the obliques as well. Again, we'll hold each side for 20 seconds. Next, we're gonna do knee tuck and lie on your stomach. And then bring your chest up. This will help stretch out the ab muscles we used a lot today. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Okay, and then we're gonna sit back and stretch this will stretch out your shoulders and your arms and also your back as well hold this for 30 seconds okay then we'll do a couple arm stretches hold each one for 20 seconds That is the end of the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it.